Hello, Cappies. I'm back. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn's highest good, please, the universe, please show us what's coming up for Capricorn in the life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Cappies in the life? And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Wow, this is you. Beautiful energy to describe you. Queen of Pentacles, whether you're male or female. My favorite queen. Beautiful, very independent. Emotionally, financially. Oh, some kind of financial blessings coming to you. So you were done wrong in the past by certain people. Uh, it looks like uh, people mm, deceived you and uh, betrayed you financially. And uh, universe is rewarding you with some kind of financial blessings. Yeah. So even though you lost financially because of someone's greed, or deceit um, you're gonna gain financially universe is blessing you with something that has to do with money finances ideas yeah beautiful financial blessings coming up for you so whoever it was that you were dealing with that took advantage of you created karma for themselves that they're gonna have to balance yeah Yes, when people do that, when people are dishonest, uh, shady, uh, manipulative, they create karma for themselves that they're going to have to balance. So in the long run, they're going to lose. Okay, so this is you gaining something. Yeah, this is you being blessed with blessings. Beautiful. Ten of Cups. It's going to make you happy. Some kind of emotional abundance and financial abundance. You are extremely guarded emotionally. People betrayed you. Numerous people that you trusted, including toxic relatives and fake friends, <clears throat> betrayed you, backstabbed you, used you, took advantage of you. That's why you're so guarded, careful, cautious. You don't trust anyone. Yeah, you're very cautious. It takes a lot for you to trust someone because you've been through so much. Yeah. This is you trusting one person, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you are very guarded with your heart. Yeah, you don't open up easily emotionally to people. Yeah, you're very cautious, careful. Let's see your subconscious position. Yeah, it's hard for you to forgive. You're still holding on to that um, emotional baggage. And it's really making you feel bitter, resentful. Yeah, allow yourself to feel these feelings to be able to release them and heal. You need to forgive those that wronged you in order to heal emotionally. Just because you forgive someone that betrayed you doesn't mean they off the hook with karma. No, they not. They still going to have to balance the karma, right? Karma will catch up with them. You may not always witness it, but rest assured, karma will take care of things, right? So you need to... Find a way to forgive those that wronged you, betrayed you in order to heal emotionally and not hold on to resentment, anger, grudges, right? Yeah. Remember, forgiveness is strictly for you, not for them. Yeah, you're still holding on. You're not letting go of resentment, anger, grudges, hate in some cases. Yeah, you need to let go of that to emotionally heal you see, the Ten of Swords is reversed. You're holding on to a lot of anger, resentment towards those that wronged you. You need to forgive them for you, not for them, for you. Yeah, I know forgiveness is the toughest lesson for anyone to learn, but we all need to learn it. 
yeah eventually that's why we live many lifetimes right lessons uh tough lessons like forgiveness have to be learned through many lifetimes so if you don't find it in your heart to forgive those that wronged you in this lifetime you're gonna have to learn it in the next lifetime or lifetime after that yeah <clears throat> in my personal opinion uh forgiveness is the toughest lesson uh, that we can learn in life because it can only truly be learned through heartbreak right someone that betrayed us someone that we cared about loved and trusted betrayed us in a major way right yeah universe please show us what's coming up for Capis. how is capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey <clears throat> Look how strong you are. You're showing up here as my favorite queens, queen of pentacles and queen of wands. You are very independent. You learned because you've been so betrayed by so many people that you trusted, including family members and close friends. You learned to rely on yourself for everything. Yeah, you are very independent emotionally and financially. Yeah, you see, good karma. You have good karma because you've done good deeds for others. And it's coming back to you in the form of blessings, opportunities, abundance. Beautiful. Ooh. Look how guarded you are. Oh, my gosh. You're extremely guarded, double guarded. Here you are, queen of swords and queen of swords twice. Here you're holding a sword pointing down. And here you're holding five swords, ready for war, ready to tell somebody off again. You don't want to trust anybody. No one do you want to trust after what you've been through. I don't blame you. Yeah, I really don't. Let me see who this is. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Capis in the life. And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? I know who it is. Yeah. So... The person you're letting go of, your soulmate, betrayed you in a major way. And you're turning your back on them. You cut them out of your life. They want to come to you for communication to clear things up. But you don't want to hear anything. You're ready to tell them off again. You don't want to hear what they have to say. You guys have some kind of unfinished business between you two. Wheel of Fortune means that no matter what transpires between you two in this lifetime, you're going to see each other again in future incarnations because you have soul lessons to learn from each other. Yeah. Your back is turned towards them, though. And here you're showing up. In one corner, you're showing up with your back turned towards them. The other corner is very severe queen of swords, ready to tell them off. Yeah. Universe, please show us. I don't blame you for feeling so bitter towards this person because you really uh, love this person. You really gave them your all and they betrayed you in a major way. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Hmm. Yeah, you see this one had to tip over. Here's three of swords, the worst card in the whole deck. Heartbreak. They really broke your heart. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies. Yeah, you cut them out. You really, there's a, there's a part of you that wants to clear the air with this person, but you're not reaching out to them. No, you're not. You're not uh, chasing them. You're not reaching out to them. You cut them out of your life, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> this is you loving yourself and relying on yourself only. You don't trust anybody. No. <clears throat> there's somebody new entering your life. Somebody who is shy, somebody who is romantic, but somebody who you already know, you already met this new person and they view you as extremely guarded and they trying to figure you out. If you are approachable on a friendship level or romantic level, they don't know how to read you. They're trying to read you better before they approach you. They are romantically interested in you though, because they're holding a cup. Yeah, you've been through so much because of toxic people, people who betrayed you, deceived you, lied to you. Yeah, this is you getting your strength back, your energy back. Yeah. You see sunlight shining on you. God's light showing up here. 
You've been through a lot of battles in your life, a lot of battles, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of betrayal. Yeah, you have uh, so much inner strength and resilience. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies. How is Capricorn currently doing? Yeah, you need to let go of the past through forgiveness. Yeah, because you you weighing heavily on yourself. You see this? This is you not forgiving, not letting go, dwelling on the past. Yeah, this is you trying to heal, make wise decisions in your life. Look how powerful you are. Look how independent, resilient you are. You see this? This is you uh, being very independent. You can actually... Uh, let go of this past through forgiveness, easy, uh, but you don't want to right now. You want to hold on to everything and feeling that they don't deserve your forgiveness. You're right. They don't deserve your forgiveness, but forgiveness is strictly for you. Yeah. Yeah. Healing is showing up here for you. Healing, healing, beautiful. Some of those people that betrayed you the most, you've let go of physically years ago. Some of you decades ago, some of them even passed away, but you're still holding on to that resentment, which is not healthy for you. Yeah. Wow. Blessings entering your life. You see, Wheel of Fortune with Magician. Yeah. You've done good deeds for others and you're being rewarded by universe with blessings. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate you're letting go of. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies that Cappies are letting go of at this time that showed up as king of wands. And how is that soulmate of Cappies towards Cappies at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Capricorn that Capricorn is letting go of? And how is that summit of Cappies towards Cappies at this time, especially emotionally? I guess this one wants to show up as extra message. Oh boy, they're showing up as having a lot of drama in their life. They don't want to fight or argue. They feel a lot of guilt. They blame themselves for losing you. I don't like some of their friends so-called friends they surrounded by toxic people who give them wrong advice show them bad examples in life this person needs to really uh, change a lot of things in their life they feel a lot of guilt they feel a lot of sadness heartbreak um, yeah, they, they want to be brave enough to approach you, even though they feel you're going to reject them and tell them no and block them and judge them. Yeah, they want to approach you. They want to find a way to approach you, maybe to make amends with you. Let's see. They're trying to figure out, is it too late to even try to talk to you? They're trying to figure out how to do this because they cannot move on with their life. Yeah, they feel heartbroken. They feel a lot of guilt, sadness, universe, heartbreak. Yeah, feel very heartbroken. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies that Cappies are letting go of at this time. They now see clearly what they need to do, what they should have done in the first place. You see, they have clear vision of what needs to happen, of what went wrong. Yeah, but they're so used to toxic behavior, it's hard for them. Yeah, it's hard to um, adjust behavior when you're used to a certain way of doing things, right? They're spying on you, checking up on you, how you're doing, how you're feeling. Yeah, if you have social media, keep it on private settings. They're spying on you, checking up on you. To see who is in your life, what you're doing, what you're up to. This person loves you deeply. I don't think they realized how much you meant to them emotionally till they lost you. They don't know how to express feelings. Yeah, they don't know how to communicate effectively. This person loves you deeply. They are in love with you. They realize that now. Yeah, after all is said and done, they finally realize how much you mean to them. That it's real love they feel, not some kind of crush that's going to fade away. This person is in love with you. Yeah, and I think they needed to lose you to finally realize your worth and how much you mean to them. 
yeah <clears throat> so this person really is dreaming of new beginning in life all together <sighs> they have secrets there's a lot you don't know about this person hmm. they hide things they're scared of being judged they're feeling very insecure Hmm. Wow. Yeah, look how much guilt they feel. Look at this. The Nine of Swords is showing up twice. This person feels enormous amount of guilt for losing you because they love you. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't feel anything. They would have moved on with their life already. They wouldn't even miss you. They wouldn't even think of you. But because they love you genuinely, it bothers them yeah that they lost you yeah they feel enormous amount of guilt shame regret it was to show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cappies they're still holding on to you they are unable to move on this is them holding on to some kind of hope look how depressed they are blaming themselves a hundred percent for losing you feeling unloved they feel you let them go. They feel you don't miss them. This is them feeling enormous amount of guilt, shame, and regret. Yeah, look how stressed out they are. They have some kind of financial problems. Yeah, it sh keeps showing up, financial issues. They've made some wrong financial decisions. Loss of money is showing up here. Loss of profit. Financial losses. Yeah, all of a sudden now they see clearly what they need to do, but the question is, will they do it, right? So, wow, Cappies, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as Romantic Knight of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. Were they planning long-term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the Knight of Cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so cappies click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys